Oh. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about teaching a horse to spin at liberty. Uh, there's a lot of ways of doing that. I really like how uh, Don teaches a horse to spin in the round pen where he takes him, you send him off the wall and then back to, and that's kind of fancy. Um, I've done a little bit different with Cooper. He tends to be a little unconfident if, you, if he doesn't have his eyes on you. And I also want to be able to do a spin kind of anywhere, and it's not in the round pen, so I want to be able to have him uh, spin with me when we're kind of out, which involves a lot of draw. So I'm just going to try to break up a few of the ingredients, a few things for you to learn about. I'm a Pirelli student, so most of my foundation I've learned in the Pirelli program. And I'm now um, an instructor, so this is uh, just my take on teaching a spin and some of the components you might want to have going on for you. Uh, Cooper, I like to teach him to draw at the shoulder without disengagement. I've written about that in a couple of my newsletter articles. Uh, often when we're first starting, we disengage our horses like that and send their hind quarters away. What I want for Coop is for him to draw to me and keeping his hind quarters underneath him so he has lots of engagement. So if he's not drawing good like that, I'll invite him to come with me. If he doesn't, I'll send his shoulder there a little bit. So you want to have a really a strong draw like this that your horse really feels confident and safe to come right into your pocket here. Um, I'm just thinking about which direction. I'll probably go that way. So I want to be able to now draw him from right here, okay? So I'm going to ask him in with my energy and my belly button, kind of drawing him in like that. And if he needs incentive, then my phases will be to bring my stick up by his shoulder. I'm going to draw him in, and then a little incentive at the shoulder if I have to. And give him lots of comfort. I'll just do that a few more times. So I'm back here, and here, and the more incentive. back this far now, a little bit farther, so I want to be able to draw him. Oh, he's thinking about spinning the other direction. He just went like, oh, are we doing that? I'm like, no, we're doing it this way. There. Okay, so you want that to be pretty strong, and you want to be able to send him around too, so practice that lot so that you can actually stand in zone five and draw him back that he wants to come to you. And then it's a matter of your driving me being good all the way around, and there you're in that spot again for a spin. So, good, and then give him comfort when he comes in here. So I'll just do it one more time. This is the driving game, sends on one around. Ours aren't very fancy, but you can get fancy and spin them faster, spin them several times. But I think the key to that is the, the draw that they want to find you. So even though you drive them around and you lose zone one, as soon as you get zone one again, they're looking for you and they draw back. I'll just try it more. Okay, So we just had a bright idea to sh actually show you how to prep that online. So you can take your lead rope and send it over like that so it's on the outside. And then when you drive your horse's forehand over, and there is when Cooper often gets confused, then you have the draw of the line to actually help spell it out for him. So the direction you want the spin to go, leave your 
belly of your rope on that side. Okay, so he's going, I would like to spin that way. That's why we showed that one, that's his best side. Oh, there you go, the idea. Keep going, Coop. And then draw to you, right there. So you see how that line there can support it. issues with your horse that involve control or if they get afraid, if they are disrespectful towards you, those are all kind of emotional issues and you need to deal with that first before you do something like this. So this would be like a level three, middle of level three, level four, when your rapport and your respect and your relationship is quite good with your horse because as was just pointed out to me, as the horse's hind quarters are coming around and they're either afraid of you or they're going to be dominant towards you, you're kind of in a compromising position. So this is a don't try that at home unless